On my skin, moisturizer with uh, 30 SPF from uh, Elizabeth Arden. And it's just a sample, I'm trying it out. So far I'm very happy with it, but, you know. And this is the rest of, whatever rest of the Gilna eye primer. On my lips again, this uh, 15 SPF uh, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. It's the best uh, sunscreen uh, lip balm I, I tried, I think. I mean, in the night I'm using the 8 hour cream like a long time already, but in the daytime I didn't find a really good one until now. But this I'm is starting with this Sisley uh, in porcelain. It's a yellow, yellow based um, compact powder. And I'm just, you know, going from here, kind of down all the way with. Just to cover the whole lid area. For the crease today, I'm taking this uh, number one from uh, Shiseido bronzer. It's a uh, kind of a satin matte thing. And just a fluffy brush like that. It's a color like this, like, you know. Warm kind of type bronzer. I'm having this uh, Sisley Garden Rose again. Like it's darker than it looks, maybe a bit. Really pretty pink and the same fluffy brush. And there is my dove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there. Like a really pretty rose. Just on top of the. And it's kind of satin, so yeah. Shows a little bit more of a sheen over there, but never mind. I'm putting it on top of the bronzer to make the bronzer a little bit less orange, maybe. Because I decided to go with some cooler colors. And it's nice to have some rose and warm kind of color. Even if you go, I will go with these colors today. And it's a YSL palette, and it's number... Those wet and dry ones, you know. Uh, number five. So yeah, I will go with that kind of colors, those kind of colors, and that's why I put this. And I will use them wet, I think. But only those I will use wet, so that's why I do all this to begin with, so I don't have a problem after to start blending in the crease. Because I've been there, done that. So I'm taking some of this Aven spray. And I'm spraying it actually just in one of these kind of, you know, there was a sponge in this once. So I'm kind of using it for these kind of things lately. Some water in there. And then I just dip a synthetic brush in it. And I will take, I believe, the pink, pink color. I will take the light one first for the inner corner, if already, you know. Start with the inner corner. Kind of make a, you know, in one of the corners I'm usually, you know, going in one side like this I'm using one side wet not that it changes, you can use them dry after you know, it's not like a, at least I didn't notice any problem so this is a little bit big maybe for the inner corner, this brush but it really becomes like a cream like that and really satin and but I will take another brush to blend it out with. I'm using one of those to blend straightly around it because if you don't do it straightly then it's very very hard to make it look uh, blended and nice after. I'm cleaning up the brush a bit now and then I'm wetting the brush again and now I'm taking the pink version of the you know and also again it's hard to see when I'm doing it when I'm lifting it up here in this corner, that corner was wet and this corner is wet. The same kind of inside here, I'm kind of keeping it wet. Up like that, you know, a little bit higher than my, than the fold of the first fold of the eye, <laughs> let's say. And not until the end because over there I will have the dark gray. And I'm trying kind of to keep it open a bit so that it won't have a crease over there after a while a smaller brush like this and again water and now I will take this color 
really dark gray. Again, making a paste out of it and dabbing it off just slightly. And it goes in here. Also as a liner, I think. Lifting up a bit, you know. Connect it. Especially if you have like wrinkled eyes and it's um, hard to use those liners, you know, then this really is nice to work with because of course it doesn't dry up. You can just add more water and keep on going, you know. That's exactly the way it is. So it's very, very nice to work with them. And I have to say, until now, I was kind of using them as a... Um, like together with dry and uh, not to all of them wet like today. It's actually the first time I use all of them wet on the eyelid and it's so much easier. And they blend together like, you know, like a dream, really. Yeah. Again, I'm taking this one. A little bit again, I'm wetting this one now a little bit if there's any water left here. Taking a little bit of the pink one just to blend between them. I want to blend a little bit between them so it won't be too harsh this line here. So as not to leave it this shiny, you know, the gray is a little bit too shiny for uh, to make it less puffy. So I'm taking this really black from Bourgeois and I'm using it dry. It's a baked shadow, but I'm using it dry just with an angled brush. Going over, you know, really here where I want it to be less puffy a bit. You know, but I'm leaving the outer line of it. Just, you know, to make it less puffy and, yeah, like that. So, puffy shiny and less puffy shiny. <laughs> well, so that's what, you know, because they also, you know, even if they dry, they shimmer. So, of course, when you make them wet, they become like a metallic, uh, yeah. So, if you have puffy eyes, it's not the best idea, maybe, but can always fix it like that you know it's not a big deal yeah so you start with something it becomes maybe something else and who cares you know that's makeup so I'm taking this one again tiny bit going over like that cleaning it again so I won't you know have too much under because I really don't really want to make this line here too wide again since that doesn't look good on my eyes to have it too wide under the eyes. It just, you know, shows uh, this part makes it puffy, this. So I better have it kind of thin. Now, since those are pretty, you know, dominant together with the shininess and, you know, this. So I'm taking more of this uh, first or second color that I added in the crease. Adding some more of that one and it's kind of a nice warmish pink even if it looks kind of cool like that but it's actually a there's some gold in it so it makes it pretty warm like a warm pink like that just to add a little bit something more in the crease And I don't really want to alter the color, you know, and, and, you know, put a real crease color over there. I don't think so, at least. Just to keep it a bit more... summery, maybe? To finish it off, I'm taking again this yellow compact powder. Just to go around, you know, the usual finishing touch, kind of, to blend uh, around everything like that. And then I would just curl the lashes, mascara. False lashes would look, uh, of course, it always looks better, but I'm gonna have to do my eyes again and all my makeup in the evening for going out, so I don't do it now. So on my red skin, I'm using this uh, Shivanshi Green Tinted Primer. And I'm taking some water as well 
kind of dabbing it on like that. More here. That was a blob. And it's kind of acting like a moisturizer as well. So it's not like a silicone, like I have full of silicone on me now. There's not so much silicone in this one. So it doesn't feel, you know, heavy on the skin. And then I'm spraying some of this Aven again. Water in my hands because it's a much easier way to smooth this primer over the sunscreen, you know. Sunscreen sometimes makes smoothing over a damp sponge. Hard. Just pushing it in a bit more. The primer. And then it's time for the foundation. Or actually, today I might go over first with the concealer. This uh, number two from uh, Shiseido. A little bit more, a little bit, a lot more under my eyes like that today. I kind of took the triangle style today. And I don't put much at all in my forehead since my fringe is down. And what's the use of having things gathering in the lines over there where I have, you know, the deepest lines. So I prefer having less over there. And yeah, so now it's time for foundation and I will still go over these two, you know. Because it will probably High coverage start. makeup today. Because my skin is kind of a little bit redder than usual, I feel, and it's getting hotter, so of course it goes together, you know, with everything. And I just used um, these two foundations today. Uh, Bourjois Flower Perfection. I'm kind of I love the color of this one. It's number fifty one. It's so neutralizing, but it's very heavy and kind of easily cakey looking. And so is this old one from Shiseido, the lifting firming, lifting uh, satin kind of makeup. And the old version that doesn't have the black here, this one, it's also kind of a cakey looking thing. Um, but it's also very dark. So I'm using a little bit of this one and this one is a little bit light. So, you know, blending them together, same kind of, they have the same kind of thing going. So they blend easily together. That's kind of why I've used them together. I'm using it together, even if they kind of both have this heavy, creamy kind of thing going, but they blend very easily together. So, but it's really full, full coverage. What I think I wanted today, so that's what I'm using. Since it is a heavy foundation, I'm using this um, Guerlain. What are they called? Meteorized Compact, uh, like uh, Meteorized Compact in number two. So I'm keeping this. Uh, just to keep it there because it's kind of a flimsy compact, I would say. So, yeah. So I'm just taking this uh, lighter kind of powder, I think. I would call it. I'm using the same brush that I used for powder yesterday, so it's kind of yellow tinted from the other powder. Just dabbing it on. And of course, this one is not at all as covering as the yellow one I used uh, yesterday. And um, under my eyes, I also used that one. This one also has a scent to it, so I don't want to use it close to my eyes. Even though this scent goes away, it doesn't stay. So that's okay. It just feels really uplifting when you do it. It's like, you know, a breeze. Oh, here, I don't need anything. It's like a little breeze of uh, flowers, you know, coming through like that. Yeah. Tiny little bit of a highlighter, why not? This is uh, the rose version of the Amber Diamond. This is Rose Diamond, I suppose. Diamond Rose. Well, number one. So, just a bit of this one. Lightly like that. And, of course, the color. On top uh, of the lip pencil from uh, Guerlain, I added this uh, Dior Addict in 578. Just this uh, nice coral kind of color. And that's kind of it for today. Yeah, a really summery kind of look with um, pinks and some black and gray and a little bit of a 
came kind of orangey looking in the crease, I think, with those, with the blend of the bronzer that I put over there as well. So yeah, just to look like that and uh, full coverage today since my skin was really kind of more red because it's hotter also. So yeah, it becomes, you know, the redness comes out even more. Yeah, that's just the way it is. And right now I'm really warm. <laughs> yeah, so have a really good day and um, thanks for watching again.